All right, welcome back to another episode of Game Crafters, where today we're going to be working on a little stuff while the cat screams in the background because she's in heat again. Not too much we're going to be working on in a little bit, probably going to be like a couple hour episode. So if you enjoy it, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and now let's get right into it, shall we? So, I did a little something, nothing too big, uh, previously. Right here you can see what we did. So I got the timer set up in a different way than usual. I am going to have it divided by like two digits, which means we're going to have to like adjust some things there. And then there was, uh, where was it? Void. Ah, yeah, it's in the timer value. So we did this thing where we essentially just got the value of that, the two digits side by side. And then that one was only one digit because who in their right mind is going to try to play this game for 10 days outside of all the other stuff? <laughs> but uh, aside from that, there is this that we did now, which is basically just file or string formats. Which I didn't know that was a thing you can do, where you essentially, well, I'm assuming what this is, is supposed to be just that. And then, like, how many digits are, are within this one. And then, you know, so on and, and so forth. You know, depending on, like, what the value is that's constantly changing from this right here. Which, this part doesn't matter because the value only should uh, be loaded in and changed once, both in here and the main menu. And to show you the procedure, instead of just, like, explaining it. What are you doing, cat? I got uh, this right here. This show off is proof, so let me just do this. I uh, also probably should go over to here and show you it in action. All right, so there's our time system. So let's say for some god unknown reason you decide to play this for nine days 23 hours shut up 59 minutes and 59 seconds that would probably be the max amount of time you can muster and now you're probably wondering how the hell that system would work well as the system kind of just counts up it reverts back to this negative 60 and then add a hundred or a hundred for the timer system and of course goes up normally like so of course, that's the timer is never going to be shown, and that's not how that would work anyway, so it would add up the number. Unless I could do arrow? Nope, can't do that. But yeah, that's what we got set up pretty much right over here. I'll also let me just do double check. Uh, it doesn't really matter with desktop audio, it just matters that I, you can hear my voice, because we're not actually ex exactly working on that, that particular stuff. Alright, so today we're going to be working on essentially getting like some of this set up. Uh, before I do anything, I want to check something real quick like here. So this has, uh, yeah, this has the slider stuff. So essentially what we need to do in the main menu is basically give this uh, menu scene. This, I mean, that's what we did for this one. We gave all of the start menu stuff here. We got to give this menu scene the sound management stuff. Although, I guess, technically speaking, I don't remember how exactly that worked, but it, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Sound management requires me to get stuff like that, and then towards the bottom of this thing, wherever that was. Actually, yeah, where was that again? It wasn't here, right? Yeah, no, that was for file progress. Sound values, right. That's what we needed. All right, so I'm going to just basically take this, or uh, make a script here for the main menu, right, okay, and I'm going to go on ahead and call this main menu sound management. There's a good chance we probably already have a good enough sound management, but I feel like that was in the pause menu, so kind of doesn't exactly matter now, but I can think of a few good ways to make this thing work without really having to worry about things too much. So what I'm going to do is go on ahead and give it sound management right here, so just put this right up here. <clears throat> and now we need to grab, I think, well, I don't know if we need audio. 
We're not playing any sound effects here, are we? Well, I'll put the UI in, because that's, that's what we need. I don't know if we need the audio. I think we just need UI. As a matter of fact, I don't even think this thing even needs the audio, but, you know, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there anyways, because why not? Why not? It still helps, I guess, to an extent. <clears throat> and this one's simple. Although, I guess, admittedly, it doesn't really need to have these two, since these are the only two you can change in the main menu, and it's not like those would ever do their thing. Um, update to set up. I doubt we're going to have a start setup, but you know what? Just in case, I'm going to have a start setup. So we got our sound management, and we got our sound stuff, so now I can just go on ahead and put it onto the menu scene over here. And then, of course, I just go over to our sliders in the canvas and just put the sliders in here. The sliders change accordingly to what the data is, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. These are the two that needs to change. Alongside that, did I, does the main camera here have, yeah, it does have the colorblind mode script. Okay, good, great. Glad that we uh, have that set up. <laughs> All right, that helps. Now that we figured uh, that part, or not figured that part, uh, we got that part. It's time for us to start doing some things here. I feel like this should be easy. We just need to have something here to detect the player. And we need to detect if DNA is being utilized, so... I guess what we could do... Let's see... Uh, what do I want to call this? I guess, uh... Main Menu SFX... Uh... I, I guess Slider. Probably, yeah. I guess what I could do is have the mark there and all the things, like the lerp stuff. You know the lerp. Remember that lerp? Ah, good old lerp. Where did I put the lerp? Um, where's my pause menu? Camera uh, misc script. Do I not have a pause menu stuff here? No, it's here. It's literally just misc, because there's only one reason to have a pause menu. Yeah, I just had all of that in one. I don't know why I didn't separate that. Eh, it's fine. It doesn't matter. All right, so yeah, that's basically uh, just all the pause stuff, but we don't need that for this. I do. I mean, it's an easy fix, because all I gotta do is just change numbers, but I do wonder if I should make it so you can increase the speed at which you bring the volume and SFX stuff up and down. It's 0 0.002, but I feel like I probably could make it bigger. As I said, we can change that whenever we need to change it. For now, I just want to check some stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, this is where all the values are, basically determining whatever the hell that is. So now what we need is lerp. Got the pause menu up, just in case, probably I'm going to need that for some reason or another. But now I need lerp. Was lerp there? No, it wasn't. Where was that again? Why can't I remember where the hell the lerping was? Would not be here, that's for certain. Would not be here. Oh, unless this was it. Which I guess technically makes sense, but that's only really for the pause menu. <laughs> yeah, okay, so there's our lerping. Alright, so now that we got that, let's go over to here and get the main menu SFX slider. If we haven't already. Now I gotta figure out where this thing is going to be. Well, as for this slider. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, again, we could just do uh, the thing's position, if I remember correctly. Alright, yeah, we could probably do that. And I just need to go on ahead, put this in here, and figure out where these values are before I do anything. Oh, God. Or do anything else. Negative four and negative four. I don't know how that's gonna work. Because this is not exactly in the area you expect for it to be in. You probably also need to be negative. Four, or maybe not. Let, let's see. So negative four, negative four, and then three. Okay. So you're three then. Not negative three, but three. We'll figure that one out soon enough. So now I need a public game object, and we just call it the uh, SFX 
slider. Sure, why not? <clears throat> That's all we really need. And just like this, we just go on ahead and get the move slider instance going in. This is for that thing. Now I believe I just need an SFX slider dot transform dot position and that should work. Presumably, of course. Okay, now I need to... I guess what I should do first... I should go on ahead, create an empty space, call it uh, SFX adjuster. Probably not spelling adjuster, right? I'll check to see if I'm spelling adjuster right. I don't know why my brain is saying O oh, and my heart is saying E. Yeah, no, my heart was right. My brain is wrong. You fool. So you go here. Oh, crying out loud. Now a box collider. Uh, that should be fine. I'll make it 0.5. Whoops, even though it doesn't matter. Now I'll add a rigid body. I, sometimes I wish it just wouldn't do the use gravity nonsense because I don't need that. And now, where did I put my... Uh, you have to be here, right? Yep, SFX slider. All right, so you go here. You'll take this player mark right over here. Stop it, cat. <clears throat> and you'll move that thing according to where this is at. I guess the best way to test it currently is just to see if this is actually going to move it in a direction it's supposed to go. Where did you come from? Oh, I see. Yeah, see that? Now that's not... It moved it, but not in the way it was supposed to move. You know what? It's constantly moving it. What? What, what's going on with the SFX adjuster? Huh? Oh, excuse me? What the? Why are you moving so much? Is it because the player screwed you? Is that it? Is trigger? I don't know, probably. And I make it is trigger and freeze your position so you don't do that again. <laughs> I don't understand why that does that. Now you shouldn't get screwed over, I think. Alright, now it's zero. I think it's zero, unless this is down. No, no, no it's zero. Let me look at the audio mix real quick. Mixer. Yeah, S of X and BGM is zero. I don't remember why, but it's zero. So, uh, cool, great, fantastic. Um, Alright, let's see. So you're moving it akin to this, not this, for some reason. So uh, I feel like there would just be an easier way to go about doing this, which is like to make a... Well, I, I, why do I feel like that wouldn't work either? Now, you know, it's worth a shot. Uh, SFX min. It's before I just had it like right where it needs to be. But maybe that's not what we need. Maybe that's not what we want. Ooh, whoops, that's not it. Oh, it also, no, nah, that wouldn't be the reason. It, it showed as uh, where it was. This is a good test regardless. <clears throat> now I just need to go on ahead and grab... Wait, wasn't it just a case of I needed to go on ahead and um, get the... Whoops. What was it again? Vector 3 equals SFX min uh, dot transform dot position. Was that it? I don't remember that being the case. No. Or was it just like new? It's been a while. I don't remember vector 3 that much. I don't know if that's what I need to do exactly, but I guess... What we probably could do is just this instead. Dot true, no, not m. Dot transform. Dot position. I feel like uh, that's not it. But as I've said before, it's been too long, and I have no recollection of this particular system. I'll leave these here because I'll probably have to change this out if this doesn't work. 
So if we're zero, you should be here then, correct? I still don't understand why that went down. Okay, so you're at least zero. That's good. Well, no, it's... I mean, it, it, I mean yeah, you stay there, but this didn't get set, so it didn't really matter. I don't understand. I don't remember why it's bringing that down. I guess what I could do is check my data and make sure that things here are where it's supposed to be. I don't remember. And I don't remember where my data was. What, is, what did I set the... Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be... Oh, wait, no. It's SFX. Right, 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 right. And it's the one that's... Okay. Uh, I guess technically, yeah, if it's like that by default, it's not loading in. You're supposed to be loading in via the main menu. And if you remember the main menu, wherever the hell that was, or the start menu, I should say, and if you remember the start menu, it just goes on ahead and resets pretty much all the variables, including making this 0.5 by default, so that's like halfway there. Obviously, if we don't have uh, these up by, like, whatever number, it's going to be zero by default. Glad I remember that one. Well, now let's... Well, regardless, I feel like you're going to be zero anyways. Yep, okay. So, so far you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Which makes sense. I guess that makes sense when you think about it. Alright, where did I... Uh, okay, so maybe I don't need you. And if I do need you, well, I have it here so I can grab you anyways. Alright. Now here comes the part where we gotta figure out how to get the uh, player to do their things. First things first, however. No, you fucking fool. Variables. Or I guess in this instance, technically, game object. Now this part makes me curious, because I haven't done this yet. But void on trigger stay. I'm curious. So if, what was it again, other.tag is equal to player, this is also assuming that the, this is the player, yeah, yeah, that makes sense, go back to you, if other.tag is equal to player, um, yeah, then we'll have that do its thing, then we need to have an if input dot get key. I don't know if this will work. I feel like it should. What was it again? Yeah, dot. So let's see. We probably want D first. And I guess data dot SFX is less than one. Right? Yeah. So if the player is there and you press D, and SFX is greater, or less than one, I mean. I guess... That's a good question. So remember, this is 0 0.002. Where did I grab you again? I thought I left you open. Ah, no, I didn't. So... Well, we're also going to need to do this, but uh, that's easy enough. Play sound. Is that what I want? Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead real quick here. We're going to have to obviously get a, the core team set. And then adjust cool uh, down slider and all that stuff. So let's just go on ahead and do a variables over here. Because why not? Uh, no, 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 you fucking fool. Um, private bool adjust or adjustment cool down. Which, if I remember correctly, all this did was just run a core routine and then play a sound. So, or co-routine to play a sound. I enumerator. Uh, no numerator. You fool. And then just play sound and then do this. Uh, I feel like you just went on ahead and made that true. Went through the sound thing and then uh, did the thing. Right? Am I am I correct in that assumption? Yeah, you, you just did all of this, which means I'm gonna have to get the sound adjustment thingy. 
which is no problem at all. Do this, just so we have it. Uh, I could probably do th this. This is only for this, so we don't really need to worry about it too much. Now I just need to get uh, sound effect here, so if I remember, which I probably do not, sound effect, uh, public audio source, um, what were you called again? Whoops. SFX uh, adjustment. Yeah. Okay, good, great. Which means we're going to have to get sound effects for this thing soon enough, but that's fine. That's easy enough to do. I guess uh, let's just go on ahead, give you an uh, audio source and uh, SFX adjustment. Did not play on awake. And basically just mimic what the player had. I, I guess technically speaking, I, I could just copy this and then just put this in here instead. And then we just go on ahead oops, and rename the movement sound to SFX Adjustment. It's already there for us, right for the picking. So why not? You go here. All right, so you're pretty much set in that department at the very least, which is good, great, fantastic. And now we just do basically the opposite. Um... I'll do an else if statement. I don't think I have an else if statement here, do I? I feel like I should. If I don't. Oh no, I did. Awesome. Good. Great. D takes high priority over A. Right takes high priority. So A, and this is greater than zero. And it's basically just subtracting that. And then plays that sequence. And that keeps going and doing its thing, provided that you are good and not being the stupid. Alright. Man, that is so slow. Maybe I should adjust that. I mean, the speed being slow makes it so you can adjust it at a bit more fine-tuning pace. But th then again, what? who the hell in their right mind is really going to go out of their way to adjust it? At such a fine, a fine uh, tune or whatever. I feel like I might have made it a little bit, a little bit faster before, but why did I feel like that that was a good number to work with? All right, better. Okay, good, great. I do this and it doesn't do anything. I do that and it does stuff. All right, good. I don't even have to use an update. I mean, I'm pretty sure I already have an update in here. That's that. Yeah, that we do have an update there, but. Wait a minute, you fool. You're not supposed to be above the update. You're messing around with my order. You foolish fool who is foolish and fool. And now we need to do player detection and boot. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. All right, there. All is right with the world. That's for the SFX. And thankfully, we can do the same with BGM. We don't even have to do that much difference. We just got to take this, create BGM slider variation, remove all of this stuff, because BGM slider is obviously, the background is obviously going to be playing as we do that. Also, I actually, I, I feel like you should be... I don't know. Let's do 75 instead. Nah. I'm not sure. I feel like maybe one. Let's try one. Real quick. Just, just because I just want to see if one's a much better pace. I want to try to keep it relatively even so it doesn't uh, accidentally somehow mad. Wait, what? How's that even slower? Huh? Oh, because that's in the wrong spot. You're technically supposed to be here. Technically speaking. Unless I do some mental math and try to figure out where exactly that should reside. 
Honestly, I feel like that's a much better speed. I, you know what? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm going to make it 0 0.01 instead. Because that just seems like a much nicer and more refined speed and adjusting the volume. We, we, things are going too slowly. The player movement in the menu system, the SFX and BGM slider in the pause and menu system. Let's pick up the pace a bit, shall we? We don't need to be going so goddamn slow. Alright, so I'm just going to copy you. I don't need you, so delete you. And I don't need you, so remove you. And now let's remove this thing and call you BGM Adjuster instead. Now I'm going to go on ahead, go over to here. Stop it. And I'm going to go on ahead, call you BGM Slider. I guess, yeah, all things considered, with the way that this is kind of being set in motion, and the fact that it's completely different. It's like the pause menu and the box sliders for SFX and BGM and coincidental uh, form, it had a baby. As well as a color blindness mode. They had a baby, and they decided, you know what? Let's make uh, the main menu system a bit easier. And have to, I mean, because obviously with the fact that we don't have everything the way that you would think it would be, that the whole uh, player moving throughout the scene as opposed to um, player selection being the thing that's being utilized, I mean, at the end of the day, it makes sense, really. Wait a minute, why did I do this? We don't need sound effects. We don't need these. We just need the game object. We don't need you. <clears throat> we don't need you. And also, you need to be VGM. We don't need both of you. Because you're not needed. And there's our BGM. Detects to see if the player is on top of it. Then it goes on ahead. Raises or decreases it, depending on what is happening when the player's on it. And boom! Set. Now I just need to get the uh, BGM and what do you call it <clears throat> stuff here. I guess what I could do is have this be here. Like so. And we'll just call this SFX player mark instead. We'll call this BGM player mark. I'm going to go on ahead and put you in here now. <laughs> I remember correctly. Yeah. So I'm just going to put the uh, slider here. And I guess technically we just uh, take you two, copy you, move you below this, and just rename you. So I'll just do BGM. Min. Oh god, no. BGM max. Alright, good. Now I'll take you two, bring you down. So now you are where you need to be for this thing to be able to move where it needs to be moved. So just take the min and max, and that should be set there. All I gotta do now is just move you into the BGM slot, and boom! Our music is set, despite the fact that none has been made yet. And there you move. And go past that. Can't go past that. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it works perfectly. Now we just need to get the CVM stuff set, which shouldn't be too difficult to do. <clears throat> I think essentially what I need to do is just take that and just change that up to essentially turn these on and off. So I'm going to duplicate you. This off. I'm going to go on ahead. I'm just going to do a CBM selection instead. I'm just going to copy that. Good. You're still in the same spot. <clears throat> okay. You are this there's no lerp here. 
But there is going to be something used for this. <clears throat> uh, we don't need a slider. And we just need a CBM on. CBM, CBM off. All right, okay, so this is how it's going to work. Get key down will be utilized instead for these departments. Well, there's probably going to be more that I got to do there. I guess first things first, if, uh, what was it again? Data.c uh, colorblind mode is equal to false then um, I believe it was cbm on dot set active and then if it's false then that means it's not on. Okay good. I'm glad I still remember that somehow. somehow. And then there's of course uh, true. Oops. True. Okay so if colorblind is equal to false then off is on and on is off. And I guess, technically speaking, we could just do an else if statement and boom, we don't have to go sit through all of that. I think. Or just an else, not an else if you fool. What are you doing? An else statement. So that way, if it's true, then that's on and this is off. And I guess an is, is uh, and Activate selections. Sure, why not? All right, so here's going to be the interesting part. So we got one for the key downs and that. I guess technically speaking, we don't need an else if for this one. <clears throat> and we just need to go on ahead and do colorblind mode equals true. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And we'll have the toggle on instead for uh, E. I think that's what I did for the other one, did I not? And but dot get, oops, that's not a dot. Get key down. Of course, key code dot E. And in this one, we need to check if data dot colorblind mode is equal to false. If it is equal to false, then data.colorblind mode equals true. Else, data.colorblind mode equals false. You press E down, checks to see if it's false. If it is false, then bring it to true. Check to see if it's false. If it's not false, then bring it to false. And there you have it, at least for that department, day. Oh, great. So yeah, D makes it true unless this is the opposite. No, yeah, it is in the right direction. Right is on, left is off. Now, what was there that I was planning on doing? I feel like there was something I was planning on doing, but I can't remember for some reason. What was it? There was something else I had in mind, but now for some reason I just can't seem to remember. Ah, uh, I guess it doesn't matter right now. Uh, right now, let's just go on ahead and get our. Um... <clears throat> oh shit! That's right. You guys are supposed to be underneath this for obvious reasons. We got our colorblind mode adjuster. We just remove this component, put in colorblindness mode. And now we just put the marks in here. Well, let's just hope that... Oh, uh, no, wait, no, that's definitely not right, because this is off. And this is on. Am I correct? Yeah, okay. So, uh, CBM on player mark. And CBM off player mark. Also, let me just make sure I didn't accidentally press 9, like I did in that one episode. I'm sure you know what episode it is. Okay, so CBM on, on, CBM off, off. Assuming everything here, hey, it's in the wrong direction. 
It's not going to work if it's in the wrong area. Hold on. You got to go down here. And thankfully, that already works, so. <laughs> this didn't take that long. It's funny how we're making the same damn menu system again. Oh, that's not working. Oh, wait, now it's working. That's weird. It's not instantaneous. On dragger dot stay dot player. Get key down key code. What? Huh? This is weird. It's taking a long time to do... It's taking multiple presses to work. Now E's not working all of a sudden. Oh, there it goes. That is... strange. What? It is strange. Maybe I don't need this to be get key down, but then that means how the hell are you going to work? Well, that doesn't make any sense to begin with, first of all. Are you right where you need to be? Yeah, you are. And you're also frozen. You're not moving at all. I think, anyways. I don't understand. E for some reason doesn't want to work. Pressing it doesn't want to work as well. I think that just works fine because it's on, what do you call it? Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. Also, part of me is curious. Did I? I, I must have. I'm going to do the nuke level real quick. Yeah, because that. And that works. But then again, it's not using the uh, on trigger stay instance. So, what sound effect is that using again? I don't remember. I think select. Right, okay, yeah, it's select. So, we want to go on ahead and do that, then we do select. That's the start menu for the main. Hmm, strange. All right, I, I guess we'll just have to try to figure something out here. Because what I could do is just have a cooldown for this and have it do E instead. You know, like have the cooldown be, I don't know, a second or something. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make, I don't understand why it wouldn't work. Why I get key down wouldn't work. Maybe it's like skipping some stuff or some shish. I don't understand. It could be that we're good, there we're like a bit too much in the, uh, what do you call it, department, and the system can't handle it for some reason, which, I don't know, it could be a possibility. Alright, I'll just call you CBM adjustment. <clears throat> All I need you to do is just grab the uh, select thing that we have, and we'll just have you go on ahead and do... Uh, Play adjustment. I believe it's just that, right? Yes. <clears throat> what the? Ah, oh, damn it. Insert is on, I think. All right. Uh, and.
So this isn't so this isn't being played multiple times. I'll go on ahead and make it so that this can only run once. And equal to true. <clears throat> I can just put you here, and then, uh, then of course, we just have a, a cooldown, so what I'll just do is have a thing called cooldown, make sure it's equal to false. It's strange, to say the least. Actually, wait, we don't have to have that here. We could have that here. Mm -hmm. But I guess there's ways around it. So all I gotta do now is just go on ahead and make a variable for you. Just like the, uh, what do you call it up there? Um, private bool cooldown. There we go. And I'll just go on ahead and do, uh, I don't know, color blind toggle. I guess technically I could just call it that, couldn't I? I don't know what I'm going to call you. Toggle CBM. Sure, why not? That'll work. So cooldown equals true. Uh, yield return new. Wait four seconds. One. And I'll put an F there just because. And make it equal false. And this will only apply to this because the others can only be moved in one direction. <clears throat> right, Cadillac? Alright. At least that's what I assume I have that set up as. I don't know why I wouldn't have that set up in any other way, but I guess I could have probably changed it. <clears throat> yeah, that's E press. Then there's the A and D press. Yeah. No, no, wait. Oh. Else if input A, right? Yeah, that's the back and fourth direction. That's what I did there. Which I guess, yeah, that kind of makes sense now. I probably shouldn't have this one also be an else if statement so that we can't just hold that and that and it'll be like, and you don't want to hear that. That's annoying. Isn't that annoying? All right, well, start coroutine, uh, toggle CBM. Boom. There, now that's gonna get used. I guess, technically speaking, if you're gonna be toggling CBM, why don't you also play adjustments so that you can be a little bit shorter? A line short. Look at that. Makes this area look cleaner, doesn't it? And assuming if everything else is going according to plan, now that should work. Press E, wait a second, takes a second. That's just how it is. Not much you can do about it. I don't... <clears throat> I don't have the thing set. That would help if I had it set. Uh, let's see. CBM adjuster. Uh, it would be in, yeah, menu selection. Just grab you and put you here. There we go. A null exception. When was there something that was null? I mean, value can't be null. Unless you mean because that wasn't selected. Then that would make sense. Would make sense because I didn't have that set. <laughs> Maybe I'll make it shorter. How much shorter? I guess 0 0.5 will work. It'd also do 0.25. Really I really wish I didn't have to do this every time. <laughs> 
there's a player, colorblind mode. For those who can't see color, I want to put, try to play this game. Uh, did I forget to put that in off somehow? I did. Alright, well, other than that, everything else here should be working just fine. And what I did for the pause menu here. Yeah, CBM, E press, CBM, DNA press. So, CBM, the D slash A press. Oh, well, we don't want that to be that. I must have made you that, and I gotta fix it. No, we did. Didn't. Good. And of course, a CBM E press. There we go. Awesome. Now that should be good. All the sounds should be playing, everything here should be set. The options menu for the main menu should be set. I still don't understand why you can't have it be a get key down on uh, detecting something. So I guess you just got to use a variable for that to, you know, work. But it's fine. That doesn't matter. Well, it does matter because we're going to be using variables here. Although the question is, where exactly? I don't know. Now, this is the part that's going to be a little bit tricky. We've been at this for 46 minutes, but I, I think we could probably manage. I don't know. There's going to be a lot of scripting here, and that's going to be a pain, but it's fine. All right, I feel like music library selection is just a good thing to get set up. Because the good thing about this is we don't have to worry about anything else here. All right? There's going to be a lot more that we have to get set up, but if I remember correctly, there was like, what, 86... What was it again? Okay, hold on, let me remind myself. There was, I think, seven times, was it four or was it three? Can't remember. Um, let me do this, and let me, oh god, 21 times four. Okay, that's probably what it was. So there's going to be 21 soundtracks on here. Or was it 28? 28 times three. Okay, no, 28, so four. Four soundtracks on here. Whew, this one's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but I think I can manage. So, variables. So now we just need, uh, I guess, private oh, bool active. And now we just need private, uh, not bool, int row. Private int column. So I'm going to spell my column right. And private int page. <laughs> Why do you have to be here? This is important. Read only? What do you mean read only? I don't know what that means. Screw you. This is fine as is. If it works, it works. Get out of my face. Okay, so now we need actives. <laughs> this one's easy enough. Just get a void on trigger uh, stay. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, enter detection. And just like the other one, if uh, other.tag is equal to player, then active equals true. Now we just need a simple F. void. I meant to do the other thing. On trigger exit. <laughs> And uh, now we do the exit detection, you fool. And all I gotta do is just take you, do that, and make this be false. So when it detects the player there, it does its thing. So now, here we go. Um, menu control. At the moment, none of this is going to do anything. Right now we're just checking to see if active is equal to true. No, is equal to true. Okay, so this part's going to be a bit tricky. <coughs> we're going to need to get multiple different stuff here, so we're going to have to definitely clean this up at some point. But for now, it's fine. 
Also, do I have the thing up here at the moment? Yeah, I got my info plan here. What do you mean, unavailable? Ah, fuck it, I'll just open this up and do this instead. Alright, where were you again? There's all my artwork stuff. It might have been in the main base. I'm gonna go to main base real quick. It would be in the MISC folder? Ah, here we go, that's probably why, because it's not there. Okay, so yeah, there's basically everything we need here. And if you're curious what we're doing with the freaking statistics, here they are. Look at all those statistics, three by three. And also there's the achievements. But right now, our main objective right now is to focus on the music library, which is probably going to take a while, because there's a lot to do here. Um, I guess, I guess I'll get this thing set up real quick. So here we go. Uh, let's make this easier on me. I'm going to go on ahead and take this. Sure, why not? I just need something to work with here. I'm also going to have you know, to do something here. So music library selection. You get out of here. Music library, get in. And now I just need all of my marks. So here's the part that's going to be painful. I'll take this. I guess it doesn't matter which one I take. And I'm just going to make an empty spot here and just call them player marks. Okay. So, uh, row one. Or we could probably just call it R1C1. It's too bad we're not going to get R2D2 or whatever the other one's name is. C3PO? I don't remember. I don't remember, and I'm not really in the caring mood at the moment. Or what I care for right now. Okay, for a second there I thought that didn't, uh, you know, do the thing. Ah, shit, you fucked it. R1C1. You fool. Yeah, so long as C is what it is. <laughs> All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shish. I don't want six, so I guess I'll have to move you up. <laughs> let's do something else with you. Nah, nah, it's fine. Okay, so now here's... R2, R3, R4, so that this shit here remains uh, intact. This is really where I don't want to have these things here. <laughs> R6, yeah, R7, there we go. <clears throat> I feel like I could probably try to bring it up a bit. I, I could try. <laughs> yeah, but is there going to be enough space? I bring it up one and it'll have enough space for one. Unless I bring this to like five or something. Bring you up here. I could. I mean, I don't see a reason not to. I didn't want you to select that block, you fool. Get out of there. I guess what I could do is delete these <clears throat> real quick. And now select this stuff. Yeah. Well, I can't move you, so I'm just going to move you. And just rename you two to wall. Normal. Oh, wait. Oh, it's all in the Well, there is also perimeter, so I guess technically it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so there's our marks. With a lot more space to work with now. I understand why that's a bit more smaller. That one is fine to be big, as well as that one down there. I mean, I guess technically the achievement is smaller if you see this being three blocks. So, yeah, I guess that's important, because we might have a bunch more here as well. So there's our first line of this shish. Now I gotta go on ahead and make more. <laughs> I just gotta figure out the order, the direction. 
So negative 20, 9. Is 9 what we want? I don't know, I can't tell. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of soundtracks. Although, don't be fooled, it's not going to be as much as you think. Because 35 of them are basically just going to be like short versions, you know, like the zone variation, as opposed to the other one. Okay, so if we're going by 9, that means you need to be 2. Or at least for now we're going by 9, it, that might change. I'm going to keep this going in column form. Oh god, no. It's fine, I can just do this. I can keep the columns going like this. Or the rows changing per columns instead. Because there's only like, what, four of these in that direction, so it's good to have the numbers like these be at the end as opposed to somewhere else. Alright, so now... Uh, that's be seven or six. Now seven. Seven looks about it. <laughs> it looks like I can move you guys a bit. Well, at the very least, we've got that going for us. <clears throat> Question is, by how much can I move you? Can we have ten spaces here? I don't know, but I feel like ugh, fuck. I feel like we could definitely have a lot more in here. All right, so let's see. Where are all the twos? What if I made 10 instead? So that way you're there. This would mean that you would need to be on zero. And this would mean you would need to be on 10. And if I were to do this and have that go to 20... Yeah, okay, that's good. I guess technically we wouldn't really need to worry about that being on 20. Yeah, because, wait, where were you again? Let me do this again, just real quick. Yeah, that would mean I could possibly try to bring you guys a bit more inwards. So that you're not like this. Because I can't bring it out any further. Unless... I were to move it a bit more in one direction. Nah, mm. If I move you guys over one, then that would mean that... No, you got two spaces here to work with. Okay, it's fine. It doesn't matter. But there's all of our little things here. Well, I guess actually, wait, hold on. There is something here that I want to do. I'll go over to Decorum. Wait, where do I want to put this? In? Uh, okay, that's the wrong one. I want to go to decorum. Give me a second. All right, I'm going to copy you. I guess technically I got something else in mind for this. Yeah, actually, I got something, something great here I want to utilize. Uh, arrow left to incite that there are pages here. I'll move you forward in here, like so. And this will disappear. And now we've got arrow right. <laughs> ah, shit. That's fine. I'll just put you over here and just move you two over here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sure, why not? We got our little page instance. Oh, but that... Now that I'm looking at it, it does seem a little bit off. Okay, hold on. Another idea. So instead of the decorum, that's up here. And instead of having that be what it is, or in that direction, I'm going to take these gas right here, and I'm going to move them up. Take you. I'm going to move you up. And I'm going to go on ahead and take, wrong one, these two, and I'm going to do this. And of course call you all. And what you two will do, is you will disappear depending on what page you are on. Oh, now here comes the painful part. 
of making sure all the selection works. <clears throat> this is the part that's going to be uh, very much painful. But it's fine. I'm going to get the reason set up real quick to try to keep things relatively within check. So, uh, player marks. I am preemptively getting this region set. Are you kidding me? You have no idea just how many public game objects there are here. Row one, column one. Do, 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 do. Now we got two. At least this one's easier to work with. Three, four, five, the six, the seven. That's not seven. That's eight, you fool. Well, at least we could have a crap ton of these. All right, so now we got that set. I just need to change all of these to two. All of these are three. And all of these the four. <laughs> Wrong one, you fool. Also, let me just do a double check. All right, good. We're still on screen. We didn't accidentally press freaking numpad nine on accident. Although we don't really utilize that side when we do this, so uh, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, so there's the player mark. I guess we can also have uh, the arrows. Uh, page uh, left. And we'll have page right. <laughs> well, that's menu control. <sighs> All right. Uh, selection visible. So I guess what we're going to do is if page is... What direction do I want to go? I guess equal to zero. Did I call that page? Okay, yeah, yeah, I just got to finish you up. Well, I got to make you equal to, then I got to finish you up. If page is equal to zero, then uh, page left dot set active uh, false. <clears throat> so if it's zero, as in the current page it's on, it does that. However, if it's not equal to zero, if it's any number but zero, it shows itself. Uh, now, I feel like I should have a region set for pages. So we've got our current page for this. I'll do page left. Do new page left. And I'll do page right. Oh, this one might take so freaking long. I mean, what am I saying? It is going to take so freaking long. So there's only going to be three pages worth. 28, 28, 28 makes 84. At least I'm assuming that's how many we have. How many we are going to have. And this is also including some environmental sound effects. <laughs> right, cat? So if it's equal to two, then deactivate it. If not, if it's any number, number but two, then do that. Okay, so our pages is set, <clears throat> but now, here we go. Uh, selection. Sure, why not? Selection. <clears throat> uh, all right, so I guess what we'll do is column first. So if column is equal to, I guess... Yeah, to make this easy, we'll just have this set to 1 and 1 by default. And maybe 1 for page as well. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll have it set to default as that. 
give me a second, I will adjust you in a minute. I now have to adjust this, so that is one, and this is three. And there we go. <clears throat> okay, so here's where we need a bunch of these. So if row is equal to one, <clears throat> then r1c1 dot set active true. Else this but false. This is where things are going to get tedious. Because now we have to check to see if column is equal to 1 and if the rows are equal to the row that they need to be. <laughs> so currently, this is the thing that's going to show. Alright. God, alright. I'm debating whether or not I want to have a region within a region because this Oh, this is going to suck. Can I have regions within regions? Oh god, what did I do? No, don't color code it. I don't know why you color coded it. Alright, you know what? Region within region. Column. And region. Can I do that? Okay, good. So, yeah. yeah. Yes, of course, it makes sense. Uh, I mean... Actually, wait a minute, what am I doing? Hold on, if this is all in one column, I could just do that. Right, never mind. But you know what, that's good to know that we could do that if for some reason that we don't have something like this. I guess we don't need to have those set in that direction. But I will separate these. And this will suck. So we just gotta change the numbers. That's all we gotta do. Just change the numbers. And then once we get this set, all we gotta do then is just take the entirety of the column row, paste that several times, and just change the column numbers. Is that easier? I don't know. I mean, it means that I only have to do like one button press. <laughs> I mean, this is how we do it. Unless, say, we were to teleport something, but then again, that would still be a bunch of stuff that we'd have to have set regardless, so... We're doing this one because that's what we have been doing. And if for some reason this is resource intensive, well, we could try the teleportation technique. Have it teleport to uh, specific positions. Although that's so a lot that we have to do regardless. So hopefully this isn't going to be a problem. Well, okay, so before I do anything, let's just make sure. If column is equal to 1, and if row is equal to 1, then set active to true for R1C1. And we got the same for 2, and R2, 3, and R3, 4, and R4, 5, and R5, 6, and R6. That keeps growing. 7, and R7. That's a lot that we just got right there. A lot. Oh god, what are you doing? No, stop it. Stop. <clears throat> Whew, okay. So that stays as is. But now, oh, wait, actually, it's only two numbers we have to change per. That's good. That's great. That's awesome. <sighs> this one might just take the wind and sail out of me way sooner than I expected to. I wanted to get selections set up for, like, mostly everything, but... Eesh. This one's a bit more tedious. Of course, I guess makes sense. Given how much we have to have shown. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Not only do we have to have, like, this stuff showcase the things that it needs to showcase, but then soon we're also going to have to, you know, oops, not that one, you fool. Make it so we can actually select this. I mean, at least that isn't going to be as bad, because we just got to have it checked to see if the thing is a certain number. 
And then if we're changing pages, then we go on ahead and have it, uh, you know, revert the row, but keep the column. Assuming that that's how that's going to work. Okay, I hope everything is here is set. We will know when the time comes. Pages there don't matter. The pages are only going to matter when we have to get all the words and stuff set. But that's fine. Here's our selection for the columns. There's more that needs to be done, but that is fine for now. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so. Here we go. We are going to get our first instance here, and that's going to be the columns. That's the easiest thing to do. So, uh, key, or get key down. We know since this is an update, it's going to work without any problems. For some reason, it doesn't work as well if it's in something else. I'm going to get W first. This one should be easy. The column portion should be easy. What I'm going to do now is do column... Fuck, I for momentarily forgot how to spell column. Okay. Column change. Also, you know what? For my own sake, I'm going to just check to see if I'm spelling column right. No, I'm not. It's only one L, you fool. But, you know, at least that's not that big of an issue. Oh, say that's not that big of an issue. Oh, I know it's not that big of an issue because those are rows and the rows are always going to be fine. You fool. You fool! How could you forget? See what I mean? Man, English can be hard sometimes. What the? Oh. Wait, what, what did I just... Oh, I unleashed the pages. I didn't mean unleash the pages. Right. Okay, anyways, back back to it. If I can be a little true, and you press W. Well, I guess that doesn't need to have anything else here. Um, if column hmm, if column is equal to one, then column equals seven. Else, if it's not equal to one, no, oh, it's simple. Really, just. Go on ahead and uh, minus equal, for fuck's sake, cat, minus equal one, right? Yeah, because up is going to be detracting, down is going to be increasing. Shut up! It's like a drop down, up and down. Sort by up and down. So key press down. If it's equal to one, i.e. you're on that column, it brings you up. I could also probably have a fail safe to check to see if column is equal to zero. And then if it is, make it equal 7 instead. And if it equals 8, then make it equal 0, or 1 instead. <clears throat> so this should, theoretically, allow for us to be able to do this in that department. Doesn't matter what page, it's always going to be that. <clears throat> now we do an else if, shush, as technically an else if doesn't exactly matter. And uh, somehow if you manage to press both W and S at the same time, they'll prevent you from doing that. So in this instance, check to see if column is equal to 7, and if it is, bring it to 1. And if it's not, add it by 1. Oh, for fuck's sake, cat, stop it! <clears throat> oh shit, now here comes a part that's gonna suck. Right! Stop scratching it! Stop! God damn it, I'm gonna adjust this shit again because you're such a fucking pain in the ass to deal with. I hate this bed frame. Now, this has been like this. Well, I don't know if I can fix this because this is deciding to not cooperate. Oh my god, I'm about to frickin' torch or hot glue this shit together. Gorilla glue it. Gorilla glue this godforsaken bed, godforsaken bed frame. All right. Hopefully, I mean, I feel like that's always been like that, and that's what annoys me. All right. Okay. So, page left, page right. <laughs> All of this. 
Every single one of these. At least it's easy enough to match the name. At least, am I right? <laughs> R1C1. R2C2. Shut up! R3C2. I'm about to throw the box down. You don't want me throwing the box down. I'll do it. I'll throw the fucking box down. You distracted me, cat. Shut the fuck up already. Four. God, there's so it's so hard to keep track of this. Well, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the ones are there. Where the fuck is the C three or C two? R seven C two. All right, R one C three. R two C three. R three C three. R four C three. God, my God, the, the the three and the C is getting me confused, and I'm. Losing my place every time I have to move my head over to check this. And R1C4. R2C4. R3C4. R4C4. R5C4. R6C4. R7C4. Jesus Christ. Save that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all twos. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all four. Okay, good. Jesus, shut up. Where are we? Where did I put this thing? I didn't move it anywhere yet. Give me a minute. <laughs> there. Now, because we are unable to move from this spot, you know, due to uh, these two things here, we should be able to move around this thing without any issue. But now we need to get sound effects stuff. Right. I guess, technically, yeah, that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do uh, sound effects. I guess similar to what we have in most of the other instances here is a public audio source. Uh, I guess we'll just call this one movement. Another public audio source. Call it play. Or a select, I guess. Doesn't exactly matter right now. Sound effects. Uh... Void. Wait, was it that or was it a public? Public, right. Um, <clears throat> just in case, public. No, you fool. Public. Void. Play movement. And move. Oops. Movement dot play. All right, so uh, play movement. Also, just get region set. Gotta do some more uh, adjustment here. Play selection, and just do play select, and just do select dot play. <laughs> Just call this play select. There we go. Right now we only need to have play uh, play movement. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go on ahead, copy you, and you off with this, and just do that every time we get the movement going. Oh, and of course I need to call you update setup. I don't know if I need you, but if I do need you, I'll just go on ahead and put, get you back. It don't matter. <laughs> and now, before I do anything, this already long as hell, what do you call it? Let's go to Sound Manager, do Menu Movement, and do Select. <laughs> we might need back as well.
Maybe. Yeah, you know, just in case. I'll, I'll, I'll put it back in here. Or in this case, um, I'll just call it back. Well, hell no. What this will do is just stop uh, playing the thing that he's doing. Playback. Weird way to do that, but you know, it's fine. Okay, there's playback. Whenever you uh, decide to deselect it, <clears throat> manager, and then you're back. Alright, good. Right now, those don't matter yet, because we have no sound. Well, we have one soundtrack, but it's not ready yet. Also, I need you to stop going to zero. I get it, you changed the sound effect because of the way that's set, but still. Stop it. A bit extra. And music library. Alright, so now... It's not moving? Wait, hold on, let me see. This is not set to public. I mean, at least this is working, but... Not everything is where it needs to be. Weird. Well, not everything is where it needs to be, because this is supposed to be row, you fool. You idiot. You moron. Columns are completely different and changes a lot more than you think. Ugh, oh, Christ. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fixed now. It's what it needs to be. Now it should do its thing. I can't believe I've forgotten how rows and columns work. I don't need sound effects. I just need to go here. I'm not sure why those aren't disappearing immediately. I'm not sure. Unless I were to have it be an else. Ah, oh, wait. Shush. That's right. <coughs> oh, fuck. Because the columns change, it's not going to work. Unless I have the columns basically just... Uh, okay, that, that might work. <clears throat> so what I could do, then, instead... Public game object. Yeah, but is that going to be an issue? In the way that works? Oh, shit. Nah. No, it just means that now we have to do this in a very particular order. Shush. Okay. Okay, I can work with this. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I know. No, we don't need that. But now I tell you what we do need. <laughs> Turns out that region was important because I forgot the fact that this doesn't uh, deactivate the things it's supposed to deactivate. And instead, it just does the stupid. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to go on ahead, go through all of these, get these set. Real quick. The thing I checked to see if I spelled column correctly. Uh. Well, at least now we ain't have to worry about doing this again. Hopefully. Yeah, just, just change you to three. Do this. Yeah, sure, why not? <clears throat> now this makes sense. If it's not three, it'll deactivate. If it is three, and if it is the row, it'll do that. Which I guess saves us on a few lines, but really just makes the rest of this... Oh wait, shit, I didn't want to do it like that. It just makes the rest of this a bit longer, <clears throat> which I guess at the end of the day is perfectly fine. It's just It just means that now we need to go on ahead and get those... Uh, Region set. Alright, okay. So, I'm going to go on ahead. 
I'm going to cut this part out. I'm going to delete this part. I'm going to, before I do anything, set up regions, call this column one. Set up an end region, like so. I'm going to put you here. And now I'm just going to get my uh, columns set. All of my columns set. There we go. So now no matter what, these will deactivate when they need to deactivate. <clears throat> Boom. So just check to see if all this is working. I mean, we just need to get the thing actually doing its thing, moving around the area. Then we just want to ensure that now we will, no, no, do this one. Ensure that now everything here is going to remain active when it needs to remain active. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's why I did that. And I was questioning, why do I do this and potentially risk all of that getting reset because the mouse decided to let go of the button? No, that's why, because it's not moving. There we go, there goes all of our selection. I'll give it some space at least. <clears throat> there we go. So now you all should disappear. Correct? Yes. Now I guess we'll find out soon enough. Alright, go to extras. I'm glad I made this go faster. Yeah, there we go. It all disappeared. Alright, good. And because we don't have a left and right set, we cannot move anywhere. But that's fine. Because now here's where we do the actual column chain. Not the row change, the column change. Okay, now this one I have no idea. I guess let's just first start off by getting our input. And we'll figure it out from there. So we obviously need D. And then of course there's uh, A, but we'll worry about D for now. <coughs> So this is where things get interesting. We're going to be changing the page number this time around when things are, you know, doing its thing. I guess this part should actually be easier than I am letting it on to be. I guess if page is... Well, wait, no, hold on. Well, yeah, I need, we also do need page. Or the row change and stuff. I guess if page is less than three, I think. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, if it's less than three, and column is equal to four, four. <laughs> And what you will do is make column equal one and page plus up by one. I believe is what we need for this. So as soon as it gets to the column four and you go up, column goes back over to one and the page will go up by one until it gets to three where it won't go any further than that. Yeah. Now we need something else. Can't be an else. It's got to be its own thing. If column is less than four, then column plus equals one. I believe. As soon as it gets to four, that won't do anything. <clears throat> and this will only do something if it goes there. And as you move, it plays movement, obviously. And I think that's it. In this department, I think. Pretty sure, at least. <clears throat> and I'll also do an else if for A. 
just because. So in this instance, it checks to see if the page is greater than zero and column is equal to one. If it is greater than zero, and you go left, bring that to four and bring this down instead. <clears throat> And then since, in this instance, wait, shit, wait, hold on, no, one, not zero, you're fool, it's one. We don't have zeros in this one. It's just one, two, three, to one, to seven, to one, to four. <clears throat> All right, anyways, if column is greater than one, as opposed to four, you go down instead. And also play the movement. Assuming I have everything right in my head here, page is 1, which is the current page we're on, and column is equal to 1. Or if page is, if it's not 1, 2 or 3, and if it, this is equal to 1, and you press A again, column 4 does its thing, or it makes this column 4, and bring the page down, so like you're on the other side. Oi! Assuming we did everything right here, theoretically, you should now be able to switch between pages and columns. Because that's basically coinciding. Okay, so left can't go. Right can go. Now we're on the end of the page. Now we're on the second page. Wait. Ah, that's annoying. So wait, are you trying to tell me that I don't need to increase the column? Well, yeah, I guess technically speaking, if this is here, and it's going to be over, obviously that's going to work. Yeah, wait, well, yeah, we don't need to increase the column, or make the column. Well, no, I guess technically we need to make it zero, then. Because that's just move it up. Or... <clears throat> wait, isn't that supposed to be less than... Do you need an else if? No, that doesn't make any sense. Because that means if this is 3, then if this is 2, then you wouldn't work. I... I I, again, I don't know why this would be the reason why that's doing the stupid. Because it doesn't seem like the order matters. <clears throat> I mean, we could try it out. Sure, why the hell not? Let's try it out. Uh, could you please just stay up? I don't even know why I bother. Don't know why I bother with you. Alright, well, let's see. Oh, well, now that actually is in... So the order mattered there for some reason, but anywhere else doesn't matter. Alright, so that's... No. Wait. Now I can't access that. Alright, well... I'll have to look into this a bit more now. I guess, yeah, technically speaking, LSIF does make sense. So, like, say if column is less than 4, bring the column up. But if it's equal to 4, and page is that, then yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, an else if statement is needed for you. You, it, it's not needed for some reason. Well, no, your is needed. What am I saying? All the else's are needed. What the hell am I saying? Of course it's needed. Why wouldn't it be needed? But, yeah, I do have that. Of course. Well, we do need an else if. You're just an else because you're just this, any other number. You, you have to be this. Although then again, I did, but no, but you, we also need page, so it doesn't matter. You yeah, know, that makes sense. Then that means this is technically not needed then. Because all we would need is just page four. Or pages. Yeah, just check to see if the page is what it needs to be. Because now that means that if you get the... Like, in this instance, if it's greater than 1, then it, it works. But if it goes to 1, then that's kind of redundant. So there you go. Perfect. Awesome. Great. An else if statement in that department. God freaking dead. You know what? 
I want you to be equal to 0 0.5 for now. Both of you. Will I change you? Probably. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I change you or not. <clears throat> there we go. That's so much better. Now we can actually hear ourselves move instead of just being silent. Alright, I got there and I'm now here. And now I'm going to go to the next page. Good. Obviously there's nothing here. Because we have no soundtracks made outside of one and one that we're like halfway done with. And uh, of course, we still need to have an instance where... Because now if you like press E, it stays on that screen. But I want to have it set to where it resets back to here. Or do I? Do I want it to have it reset? Do I want it to reset? <laughs> Would that even work? I feel like it will prevent that from doing its thing. Oh. Well, yeah, I guess that means if we wanted to have this be in a regions format, then yeah, we could do that. All right. Uh, the, the region. No, that's not what it's called. Region. Row change. And region. Do you know what re you know what I want? I don't even know what all the other stuff is for. It's there for some reason. Warning region, pragma, knowable line, if, error, and region, and if, else, elif. I don't know what any of that stuff does. All I know is regions are basically just a way to keep this a bit more organized. So there's our columns, and there's our rows. <laughs> and now uh, we just need reset. I guess I'll also just have a... It, not like it's going to matter too much, because... In this department, if... Uh, input dot get key down is... Uh, not K... Why is K the thing you choose to select? That occurs in just page equals one, column equals one, and row equals one. Although, I don't know if this is going to work the way I expect it to work. Because of the fact that that's like here. I mean, we can check. We could very easily just have it be a thing that's outside of the update. So every time we press E, it resets back to its original format. Okay, it worked. But at one point, is it not going to? That's the question. I so I feel like you're just waiting for the perfect moment to not work. Having this outside of the uh, active doesn't matter, because all that's doing is just resetting this back to its current, uh, its original value, its uh, original instance. So that doesn't matter too much. Boy. <laughs> well, that's the music library done with. And man, oh man, I literally am running low on time here. But we got the baseline set up for um, selection, at least. I can't get anything done with the music library set. What, this is what we're basically going to do with music library. What the hell? Wait, do you, you see this thing down here? Surely you see this. There's two things here. Interesting. What was that, Hanukkah? I don't look at that. I don't want to look at your menu. And they're doing a little Hanukkah right there. Cool. That's neat. I'm not Jewish, but that's neat regardless. All right, let's see. God. We only got options and music libraries. I really should have. I, I was working on a drawing here. Uh, are you going to be able to see it? Yeah, that thing. A yeah, mature drawing. Because I don't need to worry about making a video for that. Obviously. Because YouTube would not allow for it. So I was busy doing that for a long time. So yeah. 
Do I have enough time to get the achievements section done? I mean, yeah, the selection for the achievements should be easy. And statistics is easy enough, because all I gotta do is just get all that stuff set. That stuff I could do off camera. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, that one I'll try to do off camera. I hope I'm gonna have enough time to do it off camera. I do have a Friday free, so maybe. A Friday and a Saturday guarantee free, but then again, there's also Nova Guardians. Uh, alright, okay, I'm gonna go on ahead, wait, what did I call this again? Selection, right, okay, I'm gonna go on ahead, I'm gonna call this Achievement Selection. I don't need to do anything in this department fully, because this does not require me to do any, uh, what do you call it, it's gonna be in a row. Well, I guess, the first things first, I will go on ahead. I uh, will open up Achievements menu real quick, and I will create eight player marks. <laughs> Before, I had in Dreams where it was set to be like, you know, the walls instead. I'm going to just call this Achievement 1. I set these as black instead, and changing to yellow when you, like, uh, get the thing completed. Now... If you will notice what we have here in our achievements, there's a bunch here. Uh, and there's also that. I have something planned for that for the main menu. Don't worry about what most of this stuff is. A little hint as to what levels we have here. But let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, no, go down. Go down. I need to see the whole thing. No, the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, I got sixteen. Whether or not I'm going to be able to fit sixteen in here, I have no clue. But it's probably going to be in this order: three, uh, six, twelve. I just need four more, and that's. That. I plan on only having 16 achievements. A few obvious things. I, you probably would have noticed uh, a trailblazing achievement. It might, you might be able to complete this game speedrun from start to end in less than an hour. Depends, really. If you get through all the levels without dying and you take, like, the shortcuts in the... Uh, the main world path, potentially. You might beat it in an hour. I don't know, maybe, possibly. I don't know how I did that thing where I so perfectly selected that without, you know, actually doing the thing properly, but you know, that's fine. I only got like certain things, like certain like optional dead end paths, although I guess I don't really have Sky Temple in here, do I? And then there's also, I mean, I guess I probably could get rid of that, but that's mostly the, just the thing that will get you to the Sky Temple. Probably. Mostly. I don't know, we'll see. And if I need to add more achievements, that's not a problem. There's going to be a lot more that we have to add on this side, but here are our marks. 16 achievements. Although I guess we could have a mark for collecting all the achievements. I don't know. I mean, like, in the sense, I feel like 17 is good, like 16 for, like, unique, and 1 for you collected all the achievements, which I, I guess I probably should. Uh, I'm going to make this question mark for now. I'm not going to try to think of a name. Um, uh, collect all achievements. Are you even able to see this that well? Oh my god, the qual- at least on my screen, the quality here looks terrible. What? Jesus. Alright, well maybe you'd- It looks like gibberish to me, so maybe- Yes? Awesome, it's- I don't know. I guess because the screen is so small, obviously it looks gibberish. If I put it in full screen, it looks like it's actually- It's probably gonna look like it's actually full. Yeah, like this looks like all gibberish to me, but it's actually recording just fine. I think. Better be recording fine. I'm gonna do a little ch check see here. Although I guess it doesn't matter. The fact that you can't see it means that we have uh, some secretiveness or some shit. That uh, you don't know about all of the secrets that I have in mind. 
Which one did I do that in? It navigates the map. Oh, God, I bet that's shut up me. Shut up me. I forgot that was loud. Oh, yeah, the words there look a bit off. Where the fuck is the coding bit? Okay, here we go. Yeah, the coding part looks fine. So you, you saw some of the uh, secret variables. All right, it doesn't matter. I want to at least get achievements set, uh, set up and ready to go. So that the only thing we'll have to worry about next episode is the blockology and the mapology. And boy, is that going to suck. All right, we only really need to have movement for this one. Ugh. Uh, but there's also all of that, too. All right. All right, okay. Um, player marks. I was going ahead and create a player marks region. I did call it marks, correct? Yeah, okay, just... Need to dim and double check. <clears throat> so, public game object uh, achievement one. <clears throat> and we just uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve, nine, 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 seventeen. Nine. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. We'll we'll change the number if we need to change it, or we'll add another one if we need to add it or get rid of one. This at the very least means that we can have this all in one department. Alright, I was I was off by one. You know, the long uh, variables, that stuff. So that would be easy to set up. I guess, yeah, I probably should have the achievement stuff. And now this one's different. I, uh... I have no clue how the hell I'm going to do this properly. Because, like, do I want the achievements to be... Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I guess right now it doesn't matter. Right now we just need to get selection set up, so we'll just have to worry about that part later. Uh, for now, though, I need this. I'm also going to need to have an active tag. But I'll set this up first. I don't technically need to grab all of this, but I'll just grab all of this and adjust it as I see fit. There's no column, there's no rows, there's no, or there no uh, pages, there's only rows. And then there's the active stuff. That, puts, that part's set. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess I probably could do this. Oh, yeah, and then there's the audio stuff. Which, again, we don't really need all of this. We just need movement. Because there's no select. At least in this department. Now we just grab the sound effect. And we just put this down here. And we get rid of you guys. Because you're not needed. I don't want the equal to sign. Alright, here's our movement. And the sound effect stuff. And I guess what we need now... Yeah, it's something like that. Well, that one's pretty easy. I'm not just going to have the uh, update uh, set up. So bring this back over to 1. Hide that. And now I just need you to yeah, select visible. Or selection. What was it again? Select selections. Got it. Selection. All right, and of course, uh, region and we do selection visible, and of course we do an end region. This part shouldn't be too difficult. If row is equal to one, <clears throat> um, and I just uh, achievement one dot set active. True. There's going to be more to this than just... I mean, I guess, technically, we could have all the other stuff here. Like the, you know, text box that we're going to have to the right side. Most likely, right, cat? <clears throat> so if row is equal to 1, then do this. Else, then we just make this false instead. Oh, uh, but now here comes the painful part, where we gotta change all of these 17 times. 
And then there's the not so painful part where we just gotta change the achievements to what they need to be. I think I'll also have this wrap around. Thankfully, the rows in that section is pretty much set. All I'm gonna need to do there is just move things where they need to be moved. No problem. At least I hope. Well, hey, at least once we can get to, um, you know, the tens, all I gotta do is just click and change a number, or add a number. Oop, whoops. Instead of having to do this every single freaking time. So that will make it slightly easier. There. Now here's our zeros. I mean, it's still a little bit annoying, but not as much as having to keep sliding through. Whoops. Get out of here, you. You anomaly. You foolish anomaly. Think you're so freaking clever, eh? Oh, I think not. 15, 15, 15. <clears throat> Can't forget about 16 and then 17. I might have to have two different data. I probably call it achievement data instead. Data is there for like, you know, the usual save sequence stuff along. Well, that's also save sequence as well. I guess technically to an extent this even though it's not. We gotta have our own data, uh, saving data thing for that. I don't think there's any other way for us to do that. We could probably still have the same save system. And even the same, what do you call it? It's just I think we need to have something different for certain things and whatnot, and I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to re, um, re look that up, or, or like review it in what I have currently, and try to remember where things are supposed to go. Anyways, row changes. A row change, actually. I think this one is easy enough. <laughs> yeah, you play movement. If row is equal to 1, then you make it 17 instead. If not, you go down. If row is equal to 17, then go to 1. Just the same as how you over here are 1 and 7 and 7 and 1. Easy enough. But we cycle through that every time. There's more to it than just showing the these being moved. But that's fine. Now, to close this off, I need to get you, <clears throat> put you in here, and change you from this to Achievement Selection. Remove this, put Achievement in here. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like you should know how to move through this if you see a bunch of these and a player mark here. I feel like I shouldn't have to hold your hand every single time. <laughs> Man, I... Is there an easier way? Like if I were to do achievement... Is this easier? Nope. I have to keep typing that in every single time, so dragging it is the easiest solution that we have. Well, at least this is going up by a singular number, so it's easier to keep track of. <clears throat> Unless I fucked it up already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, no, I did. I'm good. We're good here. I wouldn't be surprised if I somehow managed to fuck it up. And then there's movement selection. <clears throat> which we already have in menu movement. All right, good, great, fantastic. I just need to move you down to here now, as opposed to where you were before. Whew, okay, good. I'm gonna have to get up a whole bunch of stats set up here, and then there's black all blockology and mapology that we gotta get set. 
But, wait a minute. I, uh, <clears throat> oh, wait. Yeah, no, wait, no, wait, hold on. Yeah, because I need to yeah, have if active is equal to true. You fool. You foolish fool. If active is equal to true. Uh, okay, I should move you. Good. All right. So at least I can just move you where you need to go to. Well, now that I think about it, this is kind of pointless. For obvious reasons. I'm going to cut that, put you here. And boom. That's what we really only need for that part right there. There. Okay, good. Reset can stay. That is there for that. Now we shouldn't get double the sounds. <laughs> Although I couldn't tell for some reason. Off I go. And there it is. And it just moves. So essentially it shows the name right on this line here. And then it shows you the detail of the achievement. Many of them will probably be, you know, question marked out to kind of give you some form of what's the word. Surprise. Like, you only get the names here. You won't know which one goes to which. And essentially what I think we might do is have uh, maybe, a, I don't know, a yellow symbol somewhere to indicate that the achievement was collected. But for now, we just got the selection set. Which is fine enough for me. And we've been at this for almost two hours now. Alright, there we go, folks. Well, option menu is pretty much finished. That one was easy. Music library selection is finished. All we gotta do is allow us to play music, but first we gotta actually make all the music. Any achievements it's set. Although, we gotta get the achievement written down, which I'll probably do off-camera. And then I gotta get like some way to tell that tell you that the achievement's completed. Not changing the text to yellow because that would not be easy to read. Yellow and a white backdrop? Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. So unfortunately, that's all the time I have. Statistics will be easy. I can set that up off camera, and then we're going to go ahead and put all the stats and stuff that we need to get set up for everything in the area it needs to be set up in, including the timer. Which I have an idea on how I want to do. And there's the blogology and the mapology. Despite all of what we have here, there's still a lot of work with these two here. Not as much here, but there's a lot of work here. And then this is second in line in the work department. You're going to be the most work. You're also going to be the most work technically, but as we make more music, we update you constantly. So, uh, yeah. There we go, folks. Uh, not all things considered, not bad. We got a decent amount done with. Selection for these done with. I wanted to get selection for this done with, but I don't have the time. So, anyways, thank you all for watching today's episode of Game Crafters. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more, check out that their playlist. Here's a cat that's in heat. And of course, <laughs> Here's an episode of GameCraft right over here, and the end of Sonic Frontiers. Phew. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Later.